Okay, great. Eight. Now we're doing the last video on this section of geometry of straight lines, and that is we're doing co interior angles from parallel lines. Okay, if two lines are parallel, the transversal line is the one that crosses both the lines. If you don't understand what that means, make sure you watch the video on transversal lines. So here we have two parallel lines. Parallel lines are indicated by these arrow heads here. There's only one arrow head on each of these, so that means that these two are parallel to each other. And this here is the transversal line. It is the line that crosses two parallel lines. When a transversal line crosses, or where a transversal line crosses, there will be four corners. Right? So we're going to call those corners A, B, C, and D. Right? Now, the very interesting thing about a transversal line crossing two parallel lines is that they will create two identical sets of these corners. So if we look at E, F, G, H, this will be an identical set to A, B, C, and D. That is to say, E and A will be the exact same angle. So, co-interior stands for consecutive interior angles. I've just written this out consecutive because it gives a better understanding of what we're talking about. Consecutive means one after the other. Interior means on the inside. Can you understand or guess what might be the co-interior angles here, the consecutive angles? Interior, so they're on the inside and they're consecutive. So for example, C and F are co consecutive interior angles. It is a pair of angles on one side of the transversal line on the inside of the two parallel lines. So you can see that these are on one side of the transversal line on the inside of the two parallel lines. Like I said, C and F and D and E. Let's go through some examples. Find the following co-interior angles. What will C be a co-interior angle with? So we've got C. Now C is a co-interior angle. What we have here is two parallel lines. We have two different parallel lines and a third set of parallel lines. So co-interior, it's got to be the interior. As you can see, if we looked at these two parallel lines, C is co-interior with F. If we looked at these two parallel lines, C is also co-interior with L. So F and L will be uh, the right answer. Either will be right. What about B? If we look at B, B is co-interior with I. B and I. What about D? D, let's put a square around D. It's co-interior only with E. What about M? Okay, let's have a look at M. Let's put a triangle over M. Now, M can be co-interior with L, if we look at these two parallel lines. So, L. And it can be co-interior with F, if we're looking at these two parallel lines. So, that can be L and F. Q is a co-interior angle. So, we have Q over here. What is the other co-interior angle? Now, remember, it can't be O. It can't be K because these are not parallel lines. This is not parallel with that. It's not parallel with that. It is only parallel with that. So we have Q and W. They co-interior if you ignore all the other lines. So Q and W. And then X, again, you've got to ignore all the other lines and R. So it'll be X and R. Great. That is the section on co-interior angles. I just want to mention that J and W, for example, here and here, they are still co-interior angles, even though this is not parallel to this. But we're going to ignore them now because they are not on parallel lines. So we just ignore them for now. But they are co-interior angles by definition, but not in parallel lines. So well done, grade 8. That's all for geometry of straight lines for co-interior angles.